Hi, and welcome to SeaTech. I'm Osa Johansson, and in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to connect up your CS3 portable adaptive boost battery charger and maintainer. But uh, before we start, I would like to say a big thank you for buying SeaTech. If you are using the CS3 for the first time, you need to make sure the internal battery is fully charged. So, pick up the right plug adapter for the country you're in and slip it to the PD charger. If you ever need to swap to a different plug, simply take it off and replace it with the correct one. Now, plug one end of the one meter USB-C to USB-C cable into the PD charger and the other end into your CS3. Then you just press and hold the on button till it lights up and leave the unit to charge, which it will do in about one hour. Alternatively, you can also charge the CS3 using a range of different optional CTEC accessories. Whichever way you charge the CS3, the LED around the on button will show you how much charge the internal battery has got left. When it's fully charged, all four LEDs will be lit. But if it drops down to just one single flashing LED, it's time to recharge. Don't forget that when it's fully charged, you can disconnect it from whatever power source you're using and it will hold its power for up to a year. That means that you can carry it around or just keep it safely in your vehicle for when you need it the next time. Okay, so let's now have a look at the adaptive boost and battery charging side of the CS3. On the opposite end of the unit, it's a charge output port and that's what you plug the supply 2 meter DC clamp cable into. Then, just like you do with a regular battery charger, you connect the red clamp to the positive terminal on the battery and the black clamp to the negative terminal on the battery or to the recommended charge point according to your vehicle's manual. And don't worry if you get this bit wrong. The CS3 has got an inbuilt reverse polarity protection so your battery and your charger won't get damaged in any way. The clamps are also spark-free so it won't matter if you touch them together accidentally. With the CS3 connected to your battery, adaptive boost function will start automatically to safely get your car up and running within 15 minutes if your battery is flat. Or you can use the CS3 as a regular battery charger and maintainer. For longer term vehicle storage, you can charge and maintain your vehicle battery using the supplied PD charger connected to a power outlet. Or if you're nowhere near a power outlet, by connecting it to a service battery using the optional USB clamp cable or by connecting it to a solar panel with an optional solar panel charge kit. Okay, if you have a look at the side of the unit, you will see there is an USB-C and a USB-A output, which you can use for charging tech, like laptops, smartphones, tablets, and that sorts of thing. And again, you can do all that when the CS3 isn't connected to a power outlet, and even when it's still attached to the vehicle battery. Well, that's how you get the CS3 charged up and ready to go. Thank you for watching.